Okay, so today I'm gonna be shooting Nest Log 3 and I have the gamma assist on my camera. Here you can see 709, 100%. That's what I'm using. So my ISO is around 800 because I have the dual uh, native ISO. And because it's around 4 p.m., we have the sun up. The sunset's gonna be around 8. So let's see what I can find. Whoa, I really like this bridge. I like to get a little bit of the border so we can give more more depth let me get closer um i'm gonna get drips of water today's a rainy day and we are in the spring so i suppose you have warmer days but feels like we're in a winter with rain just change just change the snow for real water now so this is stairs is so beautiful i'm gonna try to get something out of here too let's see yeah with the 50 feel a bit compressed and at the same time i'm having my camera all wet in the water but those things are supposed to handle a few drops so I'm not worried. The thing is, I love capturing people, but I don't want to be awkward. So I would try to pretend that I'm hanging around. Yeah, it doesn't look as good. It's too much things on the front. You get some of those lifts with the drops. Because I used to have the 6500 and the battery used to finish very soon. I'm very used to always turning my camera off. That's a habit I have. There's a guy passing with the umbrella. Let me see, how can I wait and capture him? I'm gonna wait over here. Pretend that I'm filming the street. Look at this. I like those basketball courts. Let's go to the basketball. Some basketball shots. Hope I had someone playing basketball in the way. Oh, that's actually cool too. This wet. Looks like a school playground somehow. My camera is getting so freaking wet. Look at this. Should I worry? I'm putting that under my my jacket. Oof. There's this lady walking out with an umbrella all the way over there. Like the thing is, I need to find a way that doesn't look awkward that I might be taking a picture of her. So I'm gonna wait here. Pretend that I'm doing a video out of this basketball thing and just stay here, wait until she passes. Let's wait. Let's just wait. Oh, I got it. Have more people coming in from my umbrella shots let me try a different angle so they just doesn't look the same i'll pretend i'm taking pictures of the trees and then coming down
Okay, now I have a lady sitting down in a chair. She's looking so freaking photogenic, looking to the right. But it sucks because it's gonna be very clear that I'm trying to capture her. I wish I could go closer, but this lens. That's the mass mode that can give me. So like right over there is a um, subway station. And what I like is there are a lot of people coming out of the subway that gives more movement for my shots. So my plan is just go up there, stay by the crossing walk, the crosswalks, and hope for a shot. Let me get some squirrels. Why not, right? They're having fun in the rain as well. They deserve some spotlight. Hey, squirrels. <laughs> this little guy is shy. Man, I'm worried with this camera. Look how wet is this? Oof. So this is a staircase, so I'm gonna stand just right over here and see if I can get a shot. I'm gonna use the staircase as a, some sort of frame. Oh, you know what? I'm feeling like I have too much white shots. I wish I could have some close-ups. Let's see. I'm gonna use the, the trash as my first ground. Oh, not as good. Also shooting in manual focus. With the, the car lights, oh my god, so much texture. Let me grab some of those wet benches that might look cool. Now let me get some on the car, driving by. I'll try to go closer because I'm looking for more close-up shots. Oh no, that's gonna look nice. Let me hold like that so you guys may be able to see. Just cars driving by. The weather sucks, so they have the light on. So I'm gonna have this guy closing the crosswalk. That was my goal. Whoa, nice. That's for the action I was looking for. I love the cars in the first ground and someone walking over it. Okay, let me see. Bike, someone coming with the bike over there. Awesome. People walking, let me get over the leaves. That person on the cell phone, let me try a different angle. Okay, cross. Are you gonna cross? Yes, you will. Okay, cross. In action. Awesome. Bike. People running a little bit. Okay, let me try to find a different location to get different shots. Uh, you see there's some people coming all the way from there. So I, I was thinking about hiding over here and grabbing some of them passing, but I don't want to, I don't want that to feel so awkward. So I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna be completely hiding because I don't want to surprise them and say like, ah, oh, you're being photographed. 
Okay, I have this guy. I like that. Okay, let's keep walking. Let me dry out my camera because it's so freaking wet now. Like my challenge is I I don't feel much interest about capturing steel stuffs. Like this is not bad. But I love people. I love I love being close to people. I love have people in my shots. But because this neighborhood is very kind of quiet and more family-ish, um, I don't want to be a weirdo. You know? I don't want to be so intense with that. More paddle bottles, why not? Awesome. Tesla. Someone walking over the street. Wider shots. What else? I like to get some signs, street signs as well. To give a little of the street vibe. Let me get some of the the water falling like let's keep telling it's a rainy day so my camera didn't go out wet for nothing okay let me get a go awesome okay i feel like the water is starting to pick up so i might just go back home but I want to get my last shot, so I have a few close-ups. I have videos take, telling the story about the rain. Um, I might cross the street and try to get something from the other corner. Let me see. Nice, I like that. More people crossing, so I'm gonna just get ready here for when they cross. I have I think I'm gonna come back from inside of the park um, and wait on what type of image can I find here 
as you see the movement is very slow today nothing much happening so you gotta kind of not act weird just facing people and <laughs> taking pictures of them by surprise so sometimes i just face that it's gonna kind of look uncomfortable like right now I don't know if you guys already noticed, but I like to have two shot and then moving shot. I learned this with weddings. Sometimes I just want to move around too much and I, I would not use it because my movement wasn't solid. So I just want to get some two shots in the four seconds as well. Just for safety. Like right now, as you can see, looks like a picture. So beautiful. Now I'm getting very worried about being too long outside with my camera in the water. I just get so excited sometimes that I should worry more about my gear. Okay, so that was it. I hope you guys liked this video. As you can see, I'm all wet <laughs> for being here outside. And as soon as I arrive home, I'm gonna kind of just wipe down my camera. And I hope you like the results. That's supposed to be just a chill, walking out in the park. Uh, in a rainy day video and let me know what you think here in the comments. See you in the next video.